Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future love reading for the sign of Capricorn. These messages are general, so they will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into this reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. First, I will be starting off with the past. So for the past, I have frequency, reconciliation, and movement. Okay. Spirit just says someone from your past tried to return, tried to reconnect with you. But I feel like you're just heading in, in a different direction. You have really done a lot of work on yourself, Capricorn. Um, raise your vibration in a completely different frequency from um, the frequency you were in when, when this person um, left or when you... Um, detached from this connection and it's like you're just on two different paths two different wavelengths so even though this person tried to come back and reconcile with you tried to reach out to you or her text for some of you this could have been through a text message it's like you weren't open because <laughs> you're gone you were gone you're you're focused on something different you are no longer desiring or you no longer desired to be with that person anymore yeah in a completely different phase in your life you and this person were on two different pages you were no longer the same person you were when you ended this relationship so let's get a message for frequency I have a king of swords in the reverse. Yeah, you and this person were on two different pages. This person with the king of swords in the reverse, they, I just got immature. They're very immature, um, very childlike. Don't really know how to express themselves clearly. Deal with conflict in a very childish manner. Um would say things or do things that would hurt that would really you know bother you hurt your feelings without thinking yeah they really didn't have a very clear understanding of self and it's like you're over here vibrating high and this person is vibrating low so you're on two different wavelengths and it's like and you knew this so when they tried to come back you were completely closed off. You weren't unwilling to accept this person back into your life. Let's get a message for reconciliation. I have the Seven of Cups. I have the Lovers in the Reverse. I have the Three of Swords. I have the King of Pentacles. And I have the Ten of Wands. This relationship was very burdensome to you. For some of you, it was a lot of back and forth, like bickering, arguing, fighting, just back and forth, back and forth. Um, when you would disagree, it would really bother you a lot um i heard i feel like it's your fault like you may have felt like everything was your fault in this relationship or this person may have tried to make you feel like every disagreement that you had was your fault this person was very unbalanced with this king of pentacles very unbalanced 
um, not someone who was very stable, especially when it comes to um, financially, this person wasn't very stable. Um, they couldn't give you the life that you deserved. I heard depended. Like for some of you, this person depended on you financially. And I heard borrow money. You may have also let this person borrow money as well. But yeah, there was no going back. This person definitely disappointed you, betrayed you. Because for some of you, you found out that they were seeing other people. They were involved in third party situations. They were not being honest. So it's like, no, there was no reconciliation because the damage was already done. And you were choosing to move forward with your life. Let's get a message for movement. Page of Swords in the reverse. It's like, don't even think about it. <laughs> don't even think about it. Like, no. The answer is no. I am not going backwards. I am moving forward. And it's like, Capricorn, like in the past, you were in a very like fast-paced energy. It's like you, your energy was just very like, you know, focused on, on something else, really investing a lot of your time into it. Um, and, and you just weren't really focused on this person at all. So it's like when they tried to come back, it's like, don't you even think about it. Like, no, I'm not going back. Like, we're done. It's over. My energy is somewhere else. Like, I am, I'm happy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy being where I am in life, being to myself, being free from any toxic relationships free from stress so yeah there was no coming back like you were definitely not going back to this person so let's look at your present situation i have dating and romance in the reverse i have clarity and i have change okay so right now some of you um just may be single not open to dating um, just really focusing on yourself, Capricorn. I feel like with this clarity and change, you've been doing a lot of inner work, a lot of self-discovery within, you know, discovering more about who you are as a person, growing, learning, I heard spiritually, really growing spiritually and not focused on being in a relationship. You just focus on yourself. Like you're changing, you're evolving. And I heard preparing you. Spirit says, I'm preparing you for a divine connection, for a divine counterpart. So yes, you're in your preparation season, Capricorn. So that's why you're undergoing so much growth, so much change. So let's clarify the messages. Spirit clarify dating and romance in the reverse. Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're just happy being by yourself. I feel like you're happy being by yourself. Like you feel like you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about anyone but yourself. And you're happy. Like you feel very content being alone, Capricorn. Not having to deal with anyone. Not having to worry about a relationship. Yeah. This brings a lot of happiness to your life. This brings a lot of peace to your life. Because it's like you're finally able to fully focus on yourself. And not have to worry about another person. And not have to worry about a connection. Give me a message for clarity.
I have the five of cups and I have the eight of cups. Okay. I feel like you have gained a lot of understanding or you're gaining a lot of understanding as to why situations in the past did not work out for you. You're gaining a lot of clarity when it comes to past relationships and why you did not see success when it came to those connections. And I feel like you're realizing that you were better off. It's like, I'm better off. It's like, yes, it hurt. Yes, I was disappointed, but I'm realizing that it was for the best. Like everything worked out for my good. Like I'm happy. I'm happy. It's like you're realizing how those disappointments impacted you as a person. And I heard growth. Yes. These past relationships, these failed relationships, helped you to grow, helped you to evolve, helped you to change as a person. Helped you to finally start focusing on yourself and doing what makes you happy instead of pouring your energy into someone else. Instead of putting other people's needs before your own, finally putting yourself first. Doing what brings you fulfillment, doing what brings you joy. Yeah, it's like those past disappointments led you to where you are now. It led you to this new path, this new journey. That spirit has laid before you. Let's get a message for change. I just heard a song. Spirit just gave me a song. All things are working for my good. Yes. All things are working for your good. And that's what you have come to realize about life. All things are working for your good. Nothing is lost. No experience was lost on you. Everything served its purpose. And now you're in a place in your life where you can appreciate that. You can appreciate the difficult times. You can appreciate the challenges. Because... You're starting to see the positive effect that they are having on you as a person, that they are having on your life. I have the three of wands in the reverse and I have the eight of swords in the reverse. Change. I feel like you're changing your perspective. You're changing your perspective. I feel like with this three of wands, there's still some work to do in the reverse. There's still some work to do, Capricorn, but... You're getting there. You're changing. You are growing. You are evolving. It's a process. But you're up for the journey. So yes, you're changing. You're changing your thought process. You're changing the way that you view life. You're changing the way that you view yourself. The way that you view relationships. You're becoming whole with self. Yes. This season is all about you. So let's look at your future. I have waiting. I have twin flame in the reverse. I have forgiveness in the reverse. And I have distance. I feel like with this waiting. I just heard waiting on yourself. I feel like you're you're waiting in the future you just you're waiting on yourself to finish evolving, finish transforming, finish this transformation. That's what I feel. I feel like you're waiting to become who you need to be for the right person. That is how I feel. You're waiting. And I feel like with this twin flame and forgiveness in the reverse, it's like you may have people from your past that are going to try to come back, but the answers are going to be no. 
It's like, no, you're not going backwards. I feel like with this distance looking at this plane, it's like you're only moving forward. And you're realizing that you still may have some work to do on yourself. So it's like you're just waiting. Waiting for your change to be complete. Waiting for your transformation to be complete so that you will be ready to finally give love completely. To finally stop being so guarded and be able to be open with someone. Be able to allow love in. So let's clarify the messages. Spirit clarify waiting. I have the nine of swords. Yes, waiting. I feel like you, with this nine of swords, like in the future, you may be in your mind still, in your thoughts still. It's like, yes, you're waiting, but it's like, am I going to ever get what I want? That is what I, that is what I feel like. You're waiting, but you're still kind of questioning are you ever going to get your fulfillment are you ever going to you know meet your soul meet me your divine counterpart i feel like there's a part of you that is still going to be worried about this because it's like you've been single for a while for some of you so it's like is this person ever going to come but spirit is saying like yes you just have to finish going through your transformation you just have to finish <laughs> becoming whole and then you will no longer have to wait. So it's like your waiting will not be in vain, Capricorn. And it's like, do not worry. While you're waiting, do not worry. And I feel like in the future you may start to worry. But Spirit is saying, do not worry. Everything happens in divine timing. Give me a message for a twin flame in the reverse. Ace of Wands. Yeah, in the past, you were connected to a twin flame. But the relationship didn't work out. And I feel like there is going to be an unexpected blessing out of this whole situation. Like by this relationship not working out... There's going to be something unexpected, an unexpected blessing that's going to be taking place for you, Capricorn. It's like, yes, you went through disappointments with this person. No, this relationship did not work out the way that you intended it to. But there's a blessing in disguise. Yes, there's going to be a blessing, something that you've probably been waiting on for a long time. And it's like God is using this past relationship, this past disappointment to bless you. And it's like you don't see it. You don't see it coming. It's going to be unexpected. But it's going to be well received. I just heard movement. Movement in a new direction. Yes. I feel like this past relationship helped you to move into a new direction. There's something that you're working on. And it's like this relationship helped push you towards this goal, towards this endeavor. And it's like you're going to finally start to see things pick up and work out the way that you want it to. When it comes to the situation, when it comes to some type of endeavor, something that you've been investing in. But it's like had it not been for this relationship, you would have never got to this Ace of Wands. It's like you had to go through the rain. In order to experience the sun. Let's get a message for forgiveness in the reverse. And I feel like for some of you, this person is going to try to come back. But it's not going to be well received. But I feel like for most, it's, it, Spirit is using this relationship. This twin flame connection that didn't work out. To really push you into a new direction. And it's going to give you the success that you've been waiting for. Prosperity. Yes. Yes. Like all of your relationships Capricorn. Like everything that you've been through. All of your disappointments. 
It's helping you. It's helping you evolve. It's helping you reach the pinnacle of success. And it's like you don't see it, but the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, you don't see it, but it's coming. I feel like with this forgiveness and the eight of wands in the reverse, it took you a long time to heal from this. It took you a long time to heal from this relationship. Yeah, it was a process, a long process. Eight wands, for some of you, you may have been involved with this person for eight years, married to this person for eight years, or you may have been separated from this person for eight years. Or it may have taken you eight years to heal. But it was a long process. And it's like Ace of Wands. You finally made it. Yeah. You finally transformed. Yes, you finally are going to heal from this. You're finally going to be able to release this relationship. Let this person go. Yeah, that is the blessing for some of you. But for others of you, Spirit says endeavor. There's something that you're working on. And it's like this relationship helped push you into this new direction. And it's like you're finally going to see it take off. Spirit says soon. Yes. You're going to see it take off soon. Let's get a message for distance. Yeah. And I feel like for some of you, it's like you're finally able to move on. Like you're finally going to be able to move on from this past disappointment. From this past relationship. Yeah, but for others of you, there's something. Like, Spirit has a blessing for you. You've been through so much. So many trials, tribulations, difficulties. Especially when it comes to connections. It's like, Spirit says a double dose. Yeah, like a double blessing. Like, you don't even see this coming, Capricorn. But it's coming. It's coming. Spirit says you're worth it. Yes, you are. You're worth it. And then the devil, your energy, distance. Capricorn, I just heard fearless. It's like you're in your power. It's like you're moving forward. You're doing what is best for you. I feel like you are going to be setting boundaries. You're going to be fully focused on your happiness. On being in control of your life, on your decisions, on your choices. Yes. I heard living the life. Yeah, you're going to be living the life you've always dreamed of. Yes. Finally releasing this toxic person out of your energy. Because I feel like for a lot of you, like I said, eight years, you have been disconnected from this person for years. Whether it's eight years, four years, three years, you've been physically not with this person, but energetically, they've still been there. So it's like you finally being able to release this person energetically and move on. And like I said, for others of you, it's like there is something that you working on, whether it's something in your career, a business, a side endeavor, spirit says like a double dose, like spirit is going to pour out blessings on you. On you. It's like this relationship helped push you into a completely new direction, helped you but reroute that energy back onto yourself. Focus on doing what is best for you. For some of you, it's like your energy has changed so much. It's like a different energy. It's like that is what this relationship has done. Has put you in a different energy. Has connected you with your higher self. Yes. You are connected with your higher self, Capricorn. And it's like everything that you are working on everything that you're pouring your energy your time your effort into is going to prosper because you're investing into yourself so let's get one more message a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light. I love you. Yes, I feel like this person in the past, like they can't get over you. They think about you a lot. They they may try to reach out to you and let you know how much they love you, care for you, that you're, you know, in their thoughts. Um, but Spirit says like you moved on from this. I feel like you moved on from this. 
And just looking at this picture, it's like, she's moved on. Look at how she's turned her head. It's like, I've moved on. I have evolved beyond, you know, the past. So yeah, you evolved a, a beyond this person, beyond this past connection. And you're just giving to yourself. It's like what you were giving this person, you've learned to give to yourself. So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.